the e-strategyblog.com, internet marketing blog. I am uh, doing a screencast here of Facebook's new search function uh, to explore what um, how it works and uh, and what we can see from it. So I'm going to um, start by just searching for restaurants and see what happens. Okay, as you can see, there's a new search, there's a new layout. Um, let me close that. And you can search by different uh, segments of content. Uh, you can search within only your posts by friends. And you can narrow this search down to the types of posts, links, status updates, and wall posts, videos, photos, or notes. Okay, so you can filter it, further filter those results. I'm going to uh, check out everyone. Now, post by everyone is for anyone who has allowed their content through their uh, security settings or privacy settings, allowed their content to be searched by anyone. Um, so you see that all the keywords are highlighted in bold, and it appears to be just a simple text indexing search. Um, now I'm going to search for Italian restaurants and see what happens. Okay, all the results return pages and groups and so forth. I'm going to filter that by friends. I have none from friends. I'm going to filter it by everyone. And I have Italian restaurants, Italian restaurants, restaurants Italian, restaurants Italian. Okay, and these appear to be in, in all types of content. Status updates within uh, notes, within links. Okay, now I'm going to try and narrow it down to a phrase search by including in quotes, which is what you would do in Google. Mattel in restaurants. Okay, post by friends, nothing. Post by everyone. Did not find anything. Hmm, okay, let me try it singular. Italian restaurant and I'm just gonna go with everyone this time all right so Italian restaurant as a phrase as a phrase broken up broken up okay all right so if you include quotes around it it doesn't um, it doesn't really search by just that phrase Okay, now I want to see um, Italian restaurant exclamation point to see if somebody's enthusiastic about a Italian restaurant. All right. I don't see any exclamation points highlighted. Okay, let me try that with just exclamation point and see what happens. Okay, so it's not using it's not using exclamation point as a it's not allowing you to search for just exclamation points. And so question mark, same thing. Let's try smiley face. I'm trying to determine if it's allowing us to um, search for things that indicate some type of sentiment, happiness, sadness, and it doesn't look that way, so that's a, that's a limitation there. Um, I did post a note earlier, and let me go to that uh, to test this out. So here's a note I posted to my own profile using a, using the the uh, headline of testing Facebook's new search function, and then I included the word sesquipedalian. Sesquipedalian is someone who's, who uses big words uh, as an easy way to uh, test whether um, uh, test the search function because few people are going to be using the word sesquipedalian in anything. Um, so I included um, some notes on the search functions and. Uh, I also include the word sesquipedalian in the content in the content of the note itself. Um, when I search for sesquipedalian, 
I got my note came up right away. Okay, so it looks like uh, it looks like um, Facebook is indexing in real time. Uh, the implications of this is uh, if they improve their search because it's pretty rudimentary right now, but even so, it's a vast improvement over what they had previously, which was not much. Uh, but now you can find out, at least in, in a rudimentary way, you can find out what people are saying about, about you. Um, it will also uh, uh, be a way for people to find, find uh, for companies and brands to find people who are interested in what you have to offer. Uh, so keeping a close eye on uh, Facebook search as it improves is uh, going to be a crucial aspect of your social marketing uh, campaigns and strategy.